In today's tutorial we are going to do the teeny weeny crochet caps. This pattern is available in four different sizes. We have in the very back we have the up to three month size. We then have a newborn size just like this. We also have a five to six pound preemie size and we also have the preemie preemie of three to four pounds. You can see when you lay them all out you can see that they are different sizes and they are also different heights. The pattern that we're doing today will be listed on the title of this video. In today's tutorial we're going to do the three to four pound teeny weeny crochet cap. You'll need a four and a half millimeter a size US size seven crochet hook and I'm using Karen Simply Soft yarn today. You can get 15 hats of this size out of one Karen Simply Soft yarn ball. So as promised this pattern comes in four different sizes and all of the sizes are available in this very easy to follow pattern instructions. So we have preemie sizes of three to four pounds. We have another preemie size of five to six pounds. We have a newborn of seven to nine pounds and then up to three months of tw 10 to 12 pounds. Now the title of this video is indicating what size that we're gonna be working on today. So it says right here in the instructions on how many hats. So it says you see how there's different colors. Those are what's indicating in the instructions as we go out through throughout this particular idea. So we're gonna start off in the instructions for example and if we're doing the preemie size of three to four pounds it'll say you do all of this and then it says three to four pounds only. So this is only gonna apply when you're working on this one and then you will see in other instructions of what you need to do. So if size is five to six, seven to nine, ten to 12 all is here instead. So you just have to watch these particular colors. Now for this particular kind of project it says that for one hat one ball will make 15 hats and then the next size of five to six month of uh, sorry five to six pounds of the preemie it's 10 hats. The next size of newborn it'll be nine hats and then up to three months you can get six hats out of one Karen Simply Soft yarn ball. So without further ado let's start working on this project together and uh, let's begin now. So let's begin with our Karen Simply Soft yarn. Let's create a slip knot and this is for beginners as well. So the first three rounds on any one of the four sizes are identical to each other and let's begin to do that now. So here's our slip knot on the hook. Remember that it never counts as one. So we need to start at the top of the hat and work our way down to the forehead of the child. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain three. So remember the one on the hook never counts as one. So one, two, and three and what it's asking us to do is do eight half double crochets in the third chain from the hook which is basically the first one that we started with. So let's just wrap the hook going into the first chain, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, pull through all three. That's one of eight. So let's continue to do that. So wrap in, pull through, pull through all three. So that was number two. Okay and that was three. Now this straggler here, see how I'm just laying it down on top so that it covers over the ring? It's just a way of uh, securing that without ever having to worry about it. So that was five, six, seven and eight. So what you need to do, it says here, join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. Well we had to do eight. So just looking back if you're confused, count backwards. So you got one underneath. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight is right there. So if you're ever confused in what you're looking at, just count backward at this point and join it with the slip stitch and that's the center ring. Let's move along to round number two. So we wanna start off with chaining of two and what we have to just do is we go uh, just chain two, one and two and into the same stitch right underneath you want to uh, half double crochet two times. So one and two. You will notice in the instructions that the chaining of two in any starting of the rounds does not count as a stitch. So just don't count that as a stitch. So it's not included as a half double crochet. So we're gonna put two half double crochets into each stitch going all the way around. Now if you're thinking about this, how many stitches are you gonna go all the way around? It's a total of eight. Okay, so we're just adding two half double crochets into each one going all the way around. Right in the very beginning here is where you need to really worry about your stitch counts to get them right. So 
So at the end what I want to do is that I want to count each group of two and there should be a total of eight when I'm done that. So I can either just count it out loud as I'm going here or I can just count it when I'm done. I think there's seven here because I still have one left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's my last one here. So you probably thought okay well there if you're a new crocheter there, there was actually two. This one is extending into the first one so that's why it doesn't count. So we want to join this with the top of the beginning half double crochet to finish that off and that was round number two. So let's move along to round number three. Round number three. We're going to start off by chaining two. Remember that does not count as a stitch and in the next one available to you. So right directly underneath you're gonna have two half double crochets. So one and two and then in the next one that we have here it says one half double crochet in the next one. So it's just gonna be by itself. So the repeat pattern on this entire round is that one of them which is this next one is gonna have two half double crochets and the next one's just gonna have one. Okay, so we're just increasing size. So the next one's gonna have two and then the next one's gonna have one. So please do that same configuration going all the way around for round number three. So then coming up all the way around in the end of round number three the last one should be one single crochet by itself. So and how do I know that's to be true? We started off with two and then one, two and one, two and one. So the very last one should just be a one. Okay, because the next one is a two. So once you get that done just join it to the beginning half double crochet that we started with. I just went into a gap by accident. Make sure it is to an actual stitch not to a gap space because it will appear very obvious if it's separating. So that is round number three. So now what we're going to do uh, is that we're going to move on to the size that we're doing in this particular video in order to do the rest of this. So for the next round is three to four pounds only. You'll see it in the instructions standing by themselves. We're gonna chain two and it says one half double crochet in each of the next three double crochets. So I'm gonna come directly below. So we got three of them that will sit by themselves. So one and the next one is two and the next one is three. So those are three half double crochets sitting by themselves and then the next one is gonna have two. So there'll be two half double crochets in this one. Okay, so the repeat pattern on this one going all the way around is that the next three will be by themselves. One, two and three and then the next one has two. So please do that same configuration going all the way around of keeping that. So it's gonna be growing slightly and you're gonna notice it's gonna start to bowl in as well. So please do that. So three by themselves and then the next one is two into the same one. So I'm coming up to the conclusion of this round and if my math is done right which I know it is because I can tell is that the last one should be two into the same one in order to keep that same configuration of three by themselves and the next one has two. So you're just going to join it to the beginning half double crochet to finish off that round. So now we're now going to start doing the remainder of the hat. It's really quite easy. We're no longer growing at this point and now it's just a matter of finishing it off properly. So let's uh, begin to do the next rounds. So now we're at the point of the tutorial where the rest of the rounds are exactly the same. You're gonna need a tape measure and this one for the preemie size is going to be three and a half inches tall. Okay, so what you're going to do is that you're gonna start the next rounds and it's all gonna be the same and it'll be three and a half inches tall before you finish this particular one. As you get to three and a half inches tall what we're going to do is then just finish it off with one single crochet border all the way around. Let me show you how to do a round of this and it's really quite easy. So let's pick up your project here and let's begin the next round. So we're going to chain up two and then what we're going to do then is one half double crochet into each going all the way around. That's all it is. And so every time you get to the end of each round you just join it with a slip stitch and then chain up two and then one half double crochet in each one of the rounds. So you're just gonna keep going around and around like that until you get to your three and a half inches tall. Really quite easy and the hat you'll see that it's gonna grow a little bit more but also now that we're not adding any more stitches the hat formation is going to start taking effect probably in the next one or two rounds. So let's uh, continue to do that. Let me meet you at the end of this round just to verify how to finish a round off and then how to restart another one and then we'll meet you at the end where we'll finish it off with a nice single crochet um, 
edge that just makes it really quite nice at the end. As you get all the way around you just join it to the top of the first half double crochet with the slip stitch, chain up two, one and two and then begin half double crochet once again in each one of the stitches going all the way around. So please do this and then grab your measuring tape and when you get to it being so fold it in half and then measure the distance. It should be three and a half inches between this and this layer here when you get there. And then when you get that done just meet me back here and then I'll show you how to polish it off and do a nice uh, brim border to it. It's just one round of single crochet. So I'll see you then and happy hooking until then and I'll be right back. Okay so I'm back. I was just a few minutes ago and now I've finished all and now I'm just gonna measure it. You can see I kind of got a little bit carried away. It's about three and a half just over three and a half inches. Uh, so now I'm going to finish off the final border and the final border of the trim is just chain one and then one single crochet into each going all the way around. Now when I come back I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish this off. I'm going to grab a darning needle and show you how to weave in your ends so that your tails will never hang out of your project. And because of that especially if you're donating this to somebody in need you don't want tails hanging out especially if uh, it's a preemie size and the parent is already distraught about their situation. You don't want a yarn tail hanging out for obvious reasons. So when I come back let me finish it, this off and show you how to finish it so that you have no tails hanging out. When you come all the way back around you're just gonna finish it off with a single crochet in the final and then just join it to the top of the beginning single crochet. Okay and you're gonna slip stitch that. So you're just gonna take a darning needle and you're gonna take some scissors and just cut about a foot long of your of your project and I want to take the yarn strand and pull it through the final loop like this. So now you want to grab a darning needle at this point and you want to insert the yarn through it. Now your project can never fall out if it's weaved in three times. So watch how it's done. So I'm just gonna come back and I'm just gonna weave and going underneath the stitches. So don't go on the top of the border because the parent will see that and we'll go in one way. It's about an inch distance pull, go back in the other direction in a different path but very close to it so that it catches in a different set of fibers and then go finally one more time in the other direction for the third time. Your project can never fall out if it's weaving it, woven in there three times. So now you can just safely trim and now because of the way that I had you do the beginning okay of catching that yarn strand you can go back to the top of the inside of the hat, trim it down and therefore you'll have a project here and if the, if the parent wants to wait, uh, um, have a brim they can just obviously roll up the little piece like this and you got a little cap that is great for donations. So this is uh, how you would do this hat. This is the preemie size of three to four pounds and please enjoy this uh, particular tutorial. I think it's a really great one. Until next time, Mike can be half of the Yarnspirations as well as the Crochet Crowd.com. See you